Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inezalea, and today I will show you how to become Superman just like this. Alright, so that's really cool and everything is entirely done in Adobe Premiere Pro, so that's even cooler for people that don't use After Effects or prefer using Adobe Premiere Pro or don't even have Adobe After Effects. So a really cool effect that we're going to create today, I did try it in Adobe After Effects and took it to a higher level and this is what I came up with. This is just an experiment, so we're not going to see how to do that in today's video, it's just a demonstration of what is possible. This has been done in Adobe After Effects in combination with Photoshop, where I did this kind of matte painting. That's really cool, but today we're gonna see something equally as cool. And you can even use this in your vlogs, for example, if you want to change your location. If you're going on a vacation, instead of showing the boring plane, just take off like Superman and land wherever you want. It's a really cool effect that you can use in a ton of different and unique ways. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and see how this is done. But before we get started, I wanna let you know how to actually film your scene in order to be able to edit it. I will provide you the exact same footage as me so you can follow along with this tutorial. But if you wanna do it yourself, just make sure that you're filming everything on a tripod. If you wanna do this in Premiere Pro, this is essential. You need a tripod and then you just film yourself taking off, try to try to fly away from Earth like Superman, but then you will realize there is gravity and it will pull you back down. But then we can edit that in Adobe Premiere Pro to actually work. So that's the coolest thing about video editing is that you can become a magician and a superhero at the same time. So um, apart from that, also make sure that you record your scene and then walk out of your scene because we want a clean plate of our scene where you are not fully there. So we just want the background so we can use that when you take off. So these two things, are very essential well actually three things one is to actually film on a tripod two is to take off but try to keep your legs tucked in be superman imagine yourself being superman and imagine you having all the force and then your action is actually going to look a lot more realistic but keep everything tucked in not like a stupid jump just like this and uh, then <laughs> Here my legs were way too out of control, so that's not what you want. And then once you've done your animation or your action, you want to step out of the frame or even do that before. Just make sure you have a clean plate. And enough talking for now, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and see how this is created. <laughs> By the way, if you like my intro that you just saw, I'm offering a free premium YouTuber intro uh, that looks just like my intro. It's just a touch shorter. Uh, I will put a link in the description. You can just click on that link and get the intro completely for free. It's either for Premiere Pro and After Effects in Premiere it's and the Essential Graphics. So really nice. Check it out if you want it. It's yours to grab. And yeah, let's continue. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and I actually have one video file which you can download with the link in the description. So here you see me standing on the street, taking off, falling back on the ground, realizing I'm not actually Superman, going out of my frame and having my clean plate. Perfect. I do have some extra things that you don't need to do in order to achieve this effect, but I have some files from Action VFX. Action VFX is a great website for visual effects composers or anyone that loves visual effects. And the cool thing about them is that they're actually bringing real professional production value to your video because they're actually being used in real feature films and series. So yeah, they have a big list of people actually working with their packs. And even cooler is that recently, I think one May, they decided to cut all their prices in half forever so more people can actually join up their team. So that's really cool. I will put a link in the description for them and you will see later in this video why I'm actually going to be working with some elements from Action VFX. They have a ton of uh, cool elements, especially fire is their kind of um, strong suit, but they're really building uh, a beautiful library there. So you really don't need this in this video. You can follow along with this tutorial and still achieve a really cool Superman effect. This just takes it to an even higher level, but yeah, it's just um, like some kind of finishing touches. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro here. Uh, so I have my video file and the first thing that I'll do is just double click on it and select my um, kind of action. So right here I'll start, I will press I on the keyboard and then take off and then right here I'll press, uh, press O on the keyboard and just drag my video into a new timeline like so. Then I will zoom in on my timeline so I actually fill my screen a little bit more with my clip. 
and I'll play my video clip. But first of all, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it clearly and I can see it clearly so I can show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so here I take off. What we want to do is actually find a spot where I start taking off. So here I'm starting to push myself up and what we want to do is actually very simple. We want to uh, actually scroll up here holding alt and scrolling this up a little bit and we want to actually ramp up the speed a little bit because you're actually pushing yourself up but you have gravity fighting you and Superman doesn't have that problem so he takes off a lot faster, it's a lot faster the action so we want to kind of um, speed ramp that up until we're actually in the air and then we're going to continue that animation with some visual effects. So right here I will right click, show the clip keyframes, uh, well first of all I'm just going to head over here until I'm actually in the air right here. I'm going to cut my clip here by going to my razor uh, tool and cutting my clip right here. Then I will go back right here where I actually push, you, you see me pushing right here, I will right click, uh, show the clip keyframes and go to time remapping speed. Okay, great. Now here we want to create a keyframe for our time remapping. Click on this keyframe. By the way, if you want more tutorials or a more in-depth tutorial on speed ramping, I have a tutorial on that. I'll put it right here so you can go and check that out first if you don't have a clue what I'm doing here. Um, but yeah, so we have the speed ramp right here. I'm going to actually bring this up to something like 300%. Perfect. And now we can actually drag this out a little bit so we have some kind of ramping going on and also give this a little bit of a twirl okay there we go so now we have this happening a lot faster really cool and the fact that it's ramping up is going to make it a lot more realistic okay so next we're going to bind our um clip right here and then we're going to just wait until i'm actually at my highest and that's actually right here so what we'll do is actually uh duplicate this video so i'm going to scroll this down a little bit and hold alt and bring this up then I'm going to right click here and I'm going for a frame hold options and I'm going to select source time code. So the source time code and click OK. So now that's going to make my uh, key freeze here. And yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to close this. I'm going to make this layer invisible and then I'm going to click on my bottom layer here and I'm going to find my clean plate that's right here and as you can see in the background you do have this bus and what you could do is essentially make a video background if you want to take it to an even higher level but it's not really necessary because it's so subtle and people aren't going to notice anyway so I'm going to right click here and also add a frame hold option for the source time code and click OK then here at the beginning I want to click on my uh, second layer that we created here and just make this visible again with me flying right here and as you can see my feet are very nicely tucked in so that's perfect and now what we want to do is actually go over to the effects controls and we want to go to the opacity tab right here and we want to take our pen tool and actually zoom in on our uh, project view monitor so we're going to drag over here and start maybe at the feet right here and just start drawing a map around your character. It doesn't have to be completely perfect, you know. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, uh, it looks very similar to what we have. We have the entire mask done, but uh, we're actually not on our video anymore. We are uh, we're just um, ourselves on this layer and then the background layer, which is the clean plate, um, makes it look like nothing happened. But if we disable the background layer, you can see that we're just cut off. And as you can see, it's uh, nearly not as perfect as uh, yeah you would think it should be. Uh, so what I want to do now is actually right click on this layer that we just um, kind of masked out and we want to nest this layer because actually because otherwise our mask is going to um, give us some problems so nest it and just um, rename it to kind of roto which is uh, short for rotoscoping which is a term used a lot in After Effects and other visual effects uh, composing softwares but in Premiere Pro it's not usually done anyway uh, we did it we just did it so um, yeah New era for Premiere Pro, doing visual effects inside of Premiere Pro. Really cool. Um, so we have this masked out, and now what we want to do is animate me going up so it actually looks like I took off. Uh, so we're going to search for the video effects, distort, and transform. We're going to apply this to our nested layer right here. And then I'm going to the beginning of um, that frame or that clip, and I'll create a keyframe for the position right here. Then move three frames forward with the arrow right key, one, two, three, 
and then just move myself up like this until I'm off frame. Okay, so there we go, and we have our animation going. So if we're going to preview this, pretty cool. Only one thing is currently everything is sharp, and as you might know, if you move your camera or if you move in front of your camera, my hand is not sharp, and we want to achieve the same effect in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. And this we can do use because we use this transform effect, we can uncheck or use composition shutter speed. And if we uncheck that, we can change our shutter angle to something like 360. And immediately you'll see that we have some kind of motion blur going on, which is going to make the entire thing just look a lot more realistic. And boom, you just took off like Superman. And that's a already pretty cool effect, um, but we want to take it a little bit further, uh, further. So we'll go to our project manager and open up the VFX, uh, action VFX back here. So I'm going to be using our, uh, the ground burst that they have, and they actually have a beauty and a shadow, which you won't see because it's black here. But if we're going to bring this here and the shadow below it, we now have some kind of stones kind of bursting out of the ground, which is really cool. Like all the power from Superman taking off actually breaks uh, the street. So we're going to select these two clips and also nest these so they're just nicely tucked together and just rename it to kind uh, to ground burst. There we go. Click OK. And now we want to just position this into place. So right here I took off. So go a little bit back. There we go. Maybe we want to start it here and go to the effects controls and just move it into position. And of course here uh, nothing happened yet, so we're actually going to uh, cut it off here. Okay, cool. Uh, the thing is, uh, the ground burst is actually done in slow motion, so we want to speed it back up to uh, yeah 200%, so go to speed and duration, change it to 200% and click OK. So now we have a kind of realistic ground burst from taking off. And you can even cut like one frame more to really kind of uh, emphasize the speed of the burst and the, the strength uh, so it happens a little quicker. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. We have one more problem and that's kind of the color of our uh, street burst uh, stones. And these are not perfect. So what we'll do is click on our layer and go to the opacity and the effects controls and uncheck the keyframe, the stopwatch here, and maybe change it to something like 85 to kind of hide the imperfections. Then we want to go to effects and we want to apply a curves effect. So the RGB curves, which you will find under the obsolete RGB curves. There we go. Apply it here and just make it darker. That's all you have to do. And boom, we have something that looks pretty realistic. Okay, so in After Effects, you would have a plugin that could add some kind of motion blur to these bursts, uh, which you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's not a really big deal. It's okay like this. I think it doesn't really, um, yeah, mind too much. Okay, so we have these bursts going on, but one problem here is that when something like this would happen, you would actually see some smoke uh, coming with it. So what we'll do is go to the Project Manager and apply the uh, dust front and also just put it over here and just make sure that this is behind our burst so we're actually going to bring our burst on top and take our dust here and maybe make it like 150 big and also put it in position okay so we have our burst going on here um, I'm also going to cut it off like right here and bring it over so now boom okay so as you can see, the background is black. What we want to do is click on it and go to the opacity and change the blending mode to something like screen uh, for, I'm sorry, for the dust here. So the screen, opacity, screen, and also change it to something like maybe 50 or even 35. Okay, very subtle, but these things are important. So I actually did something wrong here with the burst. We shouldn't have done that. We should have done it with... Uh, the smoke. So bring the smoke over. And there we go. Perfect. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, very beautiful. We can also add some kind of uh, atmospheric fog, which they also have. So I'm going to bring that on top. Uh, maybe just put these layers below and this one on top and also changes to like a screen and maybe also like 50 percent 
Okay, so now we have atmospheric smoke going on. Pretty cool to give this scene a little bit more vibe. And then we're going to select all of our clips and right click and nest them just to keep everything organized and just uh, rename this to kind of comp. I'm used to working with After Effects, so this is kind of my workflow there. Um, but I don't think that really matters. So we have this going on. Uh, here I'm taking off. So what I want to do is actually make a cut here. This is for later, but we don't really need that right now. Okay, so what I want to do now is click on this layer and I'm going to apply a preset, which we also have on our website. It's called a uh, camera shake preset, which are recorded from real camera shakes, but it's going to give your tripod shot or your stable or your stable shot uh, a lot more realistic. Uh, it's going to it's going to make it look a lot more realistic. And the reason why is if you shoot something on a tripod, it's like easy VFX or it's obviously VFX um, because you don't need any tracking and stuff like that. So if you're going to apply a simple camera shake to that, it's going to make it more realistic and it's going to look like it was harder to do, uh, which just takes the entire shot to, to another level, in my opinion. So I will just quickly show you what uh, our pack does. Uh, I will also put a link in the description if you want to see or check it out. Um, but very simply, TC Camera Shake Preset 2.0. I'm going to open it up and you have like the choice between hard, low and medium shakes. And for example, I want the medium shake. Then you can also choose for a medium shot, an establishing shot uh, or a close up. For example, I'm going for a medium shot and I'm just going to apply that to my uh, layer here. And you will see that it will zoom in a little bit. Um, sometimes you see some kind of black here. So you can zoom in a little bit more just to hide the imperfections. And if you're going to play this, you're going to see that your camera is actually like shaking, like someone's holding the camera, looking at me, taking off. So I'm just going to cut it off here. By the way, if you want your burst to last longer, you can just cut the last frame and also uh, use the frame hold option. But really cool. So we have some camera shake going on. I really like that. Okay. Okay, so one more thing we want to do is actually right here, uh, we want to add a um, transform effect again. So tr effects transform. And we want to kind of emphasize the strength again. So the force uh, of taking off. So we want to kind of shake the camera. Um, and yeah, it's like all the wind coming through the camera to the camera and the cameraman actually was a little bit confused because it went so fast and he shakes the camera. And that's also going to hide the imperfection. So we're going to apply our transform right here to our comp and then one frame before everything actually happens, uh, you can click here and click on the position for the transform effect. One frame further, we want to just move it a little bit. One frame further, again, move it. One frame further, move it again. And then one frame further, maybe move it again. Okay, and then we zoom in a little bit just to see our keyframes. And then we want to kind of go a little bit further, like right here, and just reset it. So now what we have is something like this. So as you can see, we have a nice shake and you can either just increase the numbers a little bit. So that's completely up to you. Uh, and then you can also uncheck the use composition shutter and change it to something like 180 maybe. And now you have some motion blur going on, preview it once more. And it's going to make your shot much more realistic, in my opinion. Okay, so here we have a little mistake, so what we can do is just um, bring it up a little bit. Okay. And it's completely up to you to kind of carefully put your positioning so it looks like a real organic camera shake, a kind of shock. Uh, so yeah, just play around with the position. I just quickly show you. It's like a demonstration for this tutorial. It's not perfect, I know. Uh, but then finally, to kind of finalize your entire shot is uh, you can give it some grade, some, uh, some kind of look because now it looks kind of sad, a little bit boring. So we're going to the Lumetri color panel, if you don't see that window, Lumetri color, and then you can just add some kind of contrast because contrast is uh, kind of uh, for action movies. So that's a really good fit here. And then we can also add a creative look, uh, which is actually a LUT. And we actually offer LUTs on our website also. And it's not like I'm just promoting everything. It's just, I'm telling you this because it's actually interesting. 
uh, for your videos. So uh, it also supports this channel and helps me to create more content. So it's definitely not that I want to keep pushing everything forward, but it's just something that is useful. So I'm going to browse. And for example, I can use it 300 here. So open it up and then you can lower the intensity. And as you can see, it really does something to your shot. Uh, maybe we'll try another one. Apocalypse, maybe. So you can see that every LUD has a different kind of look and feel, um, but immediately your shot looks like a real action movie. So that's really cool. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.